Well, a cash car success clearly shows that customers' expectations are changing. What they need from a car are developing fast. And because we developed a car that was a, was a fusion of, of 4x4 with, with the hatch and benefits of both the traditional segments, then we really captured the imagination of the consumer. And that sets us a new challenge. The challenge is what is the future? Changes in the marketplace and expectations. And uh, that's a challenge for us in terms of innovation. And I'm sure we'll meet it in the future. The cash guy made a dramatic impact on our business. Before launch, we were a brand around 2.5% market share in Europe, and we've accelerated to now 4% market share, which means we've got scale. Why is that important? Well, it's important because we now have scale to invest, and the market is changing rapidly. The needs of customers are changing rapidly. We're going to invest more in technology and new product concepts, and the success of cash guy has given us the, the scale to deliver that. And I'm very confident for the future we'll bring new products, new concepts that will drive us to future success. But well, a Cash Guy has had a dramatic impact on the Nissan brand. Before the launch of Cash Guy, the model that was most synonymous with Nissan in Europe was the Micra. But since Cash Guy, and certainly since the growth of the vehicle park of Cash Guy, now Cash Guy is the one product that people most refer to when they think about Nissan. And that's important. It's important because it's an innovative product defining its segment. It's a car with great design and importantly packed with technology. And if more people understand that, that can only grow overall opinion of the brand, which will mean we'll sell more cash guys, but importantly, we'll sell the complete range in higher volumes. Well, the cash guy has dramatically changed the European car market. Today, 12% of the market is made up of crossovers. That just shows all the competitors are starting to follow. Every year we're seeing new crossovers join the market. Um, and Nissan has obviously the lead and we can grow that by bringing in other concepts. We follow Cash Guy with Duke and then obviously X-Trail, we have the widest, deepest range of crossovers in the marketplace. I guess our biggest challenge is how do we maintain that and then secondly, how do we find the next trend in terms of innovation in a market that's been driven by higher levels of customer expectation. The, well, the Nissan Cash Guy stayed ahead of all of its competitors with some very clear reasons. The first one is we have kept very clearly against the position of the product. We've not diverted away from it. We've positioned the car at, against the key C-segment hatchback competitors. Um, second point is, is we've built a very loyal following. The car's been in market now for 10 years. Got a very big loyal customer base and that's obviously supported the product continually through life. Third point is that we've invested heavily in technology and you know the cash guy every year comes through with new content and that's brought, maintained the car's freshness uh, in the market. And we believe on top of that, the fact we're a leader not only with cash guy, but complemented with Duke and X-Trail, that we have the broadest, deepest and largest volume of crossovers in the segment beyond cash guy. And that's maintained the freshness and, and the demand for the car. Well, the original Cash Guy was conceived to target directly the needs of the European customer. And it's been a massive success because it was a car that was designed, a car that was engineered, and ultimately a car that was manufactured in Europe for Europeans, targeting directly to their needs in what was quite a risky decision in building a whole new concept for market. We have to remember back in 2007, the introduction of the cash guy was, was a risk. It was defining a new segment that didn't exist. Um, and therefore, we, we were uncertain as to what the reception would be. But it's been unbelievable from launch right the way through to today. We've won many press awards. Uh, the industry has followed. Every car competitor has brought a crossover into, into the segment. And the consumers have loved it. And you can tell that from the number of cars we've sold. Selling 250,000 cars a year, every year. And there's no sign of any decline in demand, which is Remarkable. Well, the Cash Guy has been a fantastic success for three reasons. Tremendous design, all the benefits of the high ride height of an SUV, and the economy of driving a compact hatchback. Winning combination of three things.
But a cash guy, when it was launched in 2007, was really special because it was unique in the marketplace. It gave a very practical, compact car, but also all the value and benefits out of an SUV um, at a time when people were moving away from 4x4s. So it really hit the target market. I think it's very clear that the cash guy has been a continual success and the number one in, in, in its segment for some good reasons. The first of all, it's, it's held its position in the marketplace. Been very accessible car, compact, great driver's car. But also we've innovated. We've added technology consistently through the life of the car, continue to invest. I think our customers have seen the value of the car improve over time and that's what's driven our success.